fully dressed. That's weird. Good morning and welcome to another video and today is the day when I finally reveal my body fat percentage. So I've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks in videos on Instagram. I actually posted on Instagram like two days ago um, saying I was going to get it done and asking you guys to guess and I got like a ridiculous amount of guesses from you guys which was pretty friggin cool. Like some of you to be fair I think were a bit optimistic guessing things like 6 and 7% let's be honest. That's not going to happen. But yeah I thought it would be an interesting thing to do and I'm like super intrigued. I've said it before I think a lot of you guys think my body fat is lower than it actually is so I'm just like yeah, intrigued to find out what it actually is. So, I'm gonna head over to the sports science lab at Canterbury Christchurch Uni. I'm getting, I think, a DEXA scan, if not like something equally accurate, so it will give me like a genuine, reliable measurement. So, if you are excited to find out what my body fat is, give this video a like and let's go. Right, body fat test is at one o'clock. It's currently 10 past 10, so we're gonna train first. I say we, because I'm training with Phelan. Um, I was due to meet him 10 minutes ago. Awkward, um, but I wanted to get some caffeine because I'm tired and feeling a little bit ill, so let's make it happen. Freaking hell. This friggin' weather sucks, like, I don't mind it being cold, but if it's gonna be cold, at least be like properly cold and like snow. It's just friggin' rubbishly cold and just overcast and rainy. Like literally the worst weather going. Anyway, ching! Got two of these, one for me, one for feeling, because I'm a nice guy. And I know what you're thinking. You changed the bodybuilding, you're taking topless pictures, you're drinking monster, what are you doing? Like, I'm not drinking monster because everyone else drinks it. I'm drinking it because I want some caffeine. <clears throat> so I feel good for the session. And like I could have coffee, but I just find coffee doesn't hype me up like. If I want to be hyped, I'm not going to be like, woo, hyped, like a friggin' really nice, relaxing, warm drink. Like, it doesn't work for me, you know? So, I need to have something cold, and like, Monster's really nice, and it's got no calories in, uh, which is good, because I want to be fat, so it's win-win. That's really cold. How are you feeling uh, on that I'm scale mad. of one to 10? 10 being really bad, and one being amazing, and four being average. I'd say I'm about two. I'd say this is gonna push me to a one though. Nice, good yeah. advertising. Right, we're here outside the gym. We're gonna do like a push workout. I seem to only film, record things when we're doing a push workout. We do actually do other things other than push, but it's just coincidence, I guess. <sighs> Welcome to the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so the plan is, uh, chest, shoulders, triceps, basically I'm going to make a video where I like explain the training split in a bit more detail but as an overview I have three or we have three push workouts one of them is like a mixed one and then one of them is more shoulder orientated and one of them is more chest orientated and today is the chest one so we're doing bench and a couple more push things and then we're going to diversify good word uh, onto some shoulders and triceps feeling is warming up coming to in the same way as my grandma uses So much cardio. Let's go, mate. Come on. You get stuck on not helping you. It's the heaviest I've been so far. <laughs> Don't talk about bench pressing. Rule one: bench press school. Bridge. 
Right, let's go. I need to squeak to motivate me. Just hit me like a cat. It's not the machine, it's my joints. <laughs> like 85 years old. That's exactly how you do dumbbell lateral raises. That was a joke, by the way. Right, training's done, uh, it was good. Well, it started off good. The last like three exercises we just became CrossFitters because. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, because even though we were there with like six hours to spare, we ended up taking too long. So, yeah, the last few things were super quick with like 10 seconds recovery, and so my form was absolutely horrendous. Like, I think the tricep push downs, I ended up just doing them as Go like dips. On. That's, I'm gonna throw out the window in a minute. Um, Feeling, what's your feedback on the session? As a whole, um, where am I going? Straight, straight over, yeah. Right. It was like um, the, it just got faster and faster. Yeah. It was By like that final going. exercise, I was just. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto A216. I'm already past the roundabout, mate. That's completely useless. Telling me after after the event. Brilliant. That's you. That's handy. Yeah. Excellent. Good very good. It was a very good session, though. The end was, I worked up a sweat in the last like ten minutes. Works up a sweat. Yeah, it was pure crossfit. Right, we're going to get our body fat done. Are you excited? Very excited. I'm a little bit nervous to be told that I'm overweight. I think, maybe. I wonder which way it is. Yeah, excuse me, can you uh, direct me to the sports lab? OMG, this is so medical. I can just smell like this is my medicine. Cowpaw science, yeah. Ooh. Hello sports lab. And yeah, we're in, this is like as labby as labs get. This is so lab, like this just screams lab, like what the hell is that? That's like a friggin' spaceship. This is James, James is gonna be just a naked male accessory. I'm trying to get as many naked men as I can, particularly the thumbnails, so he's gonna be like a guinea pig, like a thumbnail body fat informative guinea pig. This is Lucy, who's the Hi big there. dog. Right, so can you quickly explain what I'm having done today, please? So Matt is going to have done uh, a full skin fold assessment and Sick. he's going to go into the bold pod as well. Which is that bad boy. Do I have to wear any kind of like astronaut? Speedos thing? preferably. Oh, okay. Yes. Absolutely ideal. Uh, just quickly now as well, because people on YouTube are absolute goons. Just to confirm, the skin fold, right, is very accurate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you have a full ISAC accreditation, so typically what a sports scientist would have. And you have that. I have that. Uh, so all we we all have that in the labs. Uh, that is the idea. It's very accurate. We spend over six months training. Bod pod is great, uh, but if you have a good person doing it, it is far more accurate and reliable. Awesome. And just from I, what are you saying, this guy is? 30%, 40%, 50? Oh, it's difficult because I can't see underneath his jumper. <laughs> he's quite okay. he's quite lean, but you might have some around Hide here. Yeah. I think, and around there. Well, have you got smothered under your yeah. jumper for you then? I've got, there's, there is something now. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so we're doing skin folds first, right? Lucy, is that, is that correct? Skin folds Skin folds. Now, you said to bring some tight shorts. I did. Hello. Dug these bad boys out from, these are from like the triple jumping days, but they're the only tight shorts I own. They do look, 
I was gonna say mildly inappropriate, they're, they're just fully inappropriate. So yeah, look forward to getting these bad boys on. Do I have to put them on now? I'm not putting them on now, am I? No, I do have shorts underneath. No. Okay, you do have, I do have to have you in a pair of shorts so okay, I can see. access your thigh okay. area going on. and your glutes. They're going on. This video is about to get X-rated. This is what we're going to do first. We are going to do your weight, your body mass, then we're going to do your height over on the static <coughs> meter. Uh, and then I'm going to stand you directly here so you can face the whiteboard. I'm going to mark up the entire right side of your body with eyeliner. Are you happy wearing eyeliner? I wear all the time, so that's Fantastic. Perfect. So that's what we're going to wear. I actually got some um, in the back, so I can just use that. Good. Perfect. Okay, head over here. Brilliant. That's how one's done. Because I have some people that come in and I thought you'd, you'd be one of those that would. Wow, the look I get is incredible. Oh. 2.8 mils. 5.5 mils is 7.2. 7.3. 4.8, 6.9, 9 exactly. These are your results, Matt. So okay. overall, your body fat percentage is 13.3%. 13.3, that's not too bad. I'll take that, I'll take that. It's athletic ranges. Just that's give me athletic. six months. Six months time, I'm gonna be outrageous. You're gonna be like, what is that? You feel we get this? Yeah, it's definitely. Incredible. Right, are you happy with this one? Go for it, yeah. Good, right, you grab the back, okay. I've got the front. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> cover those ears, cover that hair. Looking great. This is a pretty weird experience, if I'm honest. Close the door. <coughs> Knees together, hands in lap, breathe normally. Just need some interstellar like music over it. <clears throat> right, out we jump. Woo! I get my weird hat now. Oh yeah, you can... <laughs> God. Literally can't wait for you to have to put this on, by the way. <laughs> so the bod pod results are in. 14.2% uh, mm -hmm. body fat. So it always brings people out a tad higher than what yeah. we bring, but that's okay. consistent. So okay. we've got two numbers to retest. 30 and 14, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Put it into perspective, that's five kilos of body fat. That is absolutely outrageous. That means I'm carrying almost three of those, and if I want to drop down to, like, say, sub 10%, you're looking at almost losing that much fat. Like, what the hell? If you're fat, right, stop being fat, because look at that in your body. Jesus Christ, can you eat this? Is this edible? Uh, it's not, that's not edible. Philip, really, can you just explain what you just said, sorry? You, you've got shorts, right? Yeah, I forgot my PE kit. So you've got no shorts? No shorts. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, no, Tell her how quickly tell her. You've got, got. Still got the tag. 70%, is that your body fat? Jesus. 18.6. Get a live reaction here. 17.3 abdominal. <laughs> Feet and skin fold was like just under 18%. What was yours? 1%. Yours is 13, right? Yeah. So I'm 5% better than you. Okay, and then, and then what does the board come out as? It said oh, like I can't get that back now, but 17, um, 17, 17 on the dot. 17, mm -hmm. okay. Update, so James, you've had yours done. Let's get a quick look at James's physique. And then what were you? 11.5%. Uh, 11.5%, 11 okay, so on a sliding scale, 17, 11.5. Okay, body fat stuff is over, it's done. We're now going to get food. We're going to eat at the like university thingy, right? Yes. And the plan is to try and so I'm currently at 13% body fat. The plan is to get to like 18% by the end of the meal. 18%? 20 after. Yeah, could I just get like burger and fries? Yeah. Please, is that right? And we're in, it's happened. So I got a pretty like classic school dinner, so like a burger and like. It's not, basically right, my take on burgers is that the thinner they are, the better they are. Like, if you get a massive fat burger, I know it's better quality, but it makes me gag, whereas like thin burgers are easier to eat and they taste nice. Uh, and then like fries and ketchup. Feeling, bear in mind, he's 18% body fat. Chicken fried chicken, fried chicken, fries, fried fries, fried fries, fried and ketchup. all calorie coke. Tomorrow, it starts tomorrow. <laughs> it starts tomorrow. Uh, and I've got a Dr. Pepper and a cookie. Dinner is done, we're heading home. I thought I'd quickly sit down and wrap up the video. So, in conclusion, yeah, 13, 13 and a half percent, I think it was 13.3 percent. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit high, to be honest, like I was thinking 15, so 13.3, I'll take that. Um, what it means is that I think, or not think, I know, I'm gonna cut down further, right? So I'm thinking provisionally, I'm gonna cut down to like maybe around nine, 10%, maybe a bit lower if I can. Like I wanna get 
to the point where I'm like Instagram shredded, you know, so I look like really, really shredded. And at that point, I think that'll be like my starting point, and then I'll run a steady bolt from there and just try and put on some size before cutting down again in the future. That's the idea. But yeah, I just thought today would be insightful and give you like a, an insight into like what body fat looks like in real life, you know. So you've seen examples of 18 and like 11 and a half, and then obviously 30.3 on me. What you've got to bear in mind is that it's it can be very misleading, okay? So to give myself as an example, I don't tend to deposit much body fat on my stomach, okay? So I could be maybe 15, 16, maybe even 17% body fat and still have visible abs, whereas some people could be down at say 12, 13% and only just about have visible abs because they put fat on their stomach. So that is very misleading, so you need to bear that in mind. That's why getting obviously actual tests done rather than just like scales or you know things you hold that's why that's really really important and yeah that is that so i'm going to go home and end the video here i sincerely hope you enjoyed it guys if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>